what is OpenCL? It's, um, it's a framework for writing pro uh, parallel programs um, in a generic way that can be run on a vast number of architectures without, without with very little or no changes needed to port it to it from one device to another. So for example, you can write a, the matrix multiply and with the same code, uh, run it on your CPU, on a graphics card, on DSPs. There are some um, compilers which will put your OpenCL code onto FPGAs and also standard being um, created at the moment is OpenCL in your web browser. Um, for Epiphany, um, we have the Co-processing threads SDK by branded technology. Um, I'm not sure if they're shipping, um, giving binaries, but it's not in the um, binary release if you download everything else. Um, and for it to work, you just need to add dash dash enable epiphany to configure. So just to, to give a rough introduction to the terminology. So we have a chip, <coughs> you have um, the first core which is, a, which is a processing element and these are grouped up into um, what's called compute units and then your entire thing is called a compute device. Um, these you can control, what you can control is what, what are called work items, work groups and um, just the entire device. Um, in terms of memory, you have to manage it yourself in a similar way to with the ESDK, except things like making sure pointers in the right place are taken care of for you. So um, you have a, um, a work item that runs on the core and it has its private memory. Those have its local memory in a group. And then multiple groups as a global memory, which is that which can then communicate between global memory and host memory, which is very similar to what we had for the ESDK in which we have the data on the arm and then we copy it over to a shared DRAM and then each core can copy from this global memory into private memory. Um, programs are split up into kernels, which are written into a, is it a subset of C? It's a, uh, a super subset of C. A super subset of C. <laughs> 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 um, and are um, queued up to a specific um, oops, added to queues for a work group and then they, these are executed sequentially. Um, though it's worth noting that there are hard-coded um, for a device maximum work group size. So your code, ha your, um, your work group is actually smaller than that. What that means in it for, for, your, for general programming is uh, you can synchronize within a work group but you can't synchronize globally, so that just, the maximum work group, oh, there's also local memory um, per work group. So your, the work group you specify just restricts whatever. And also, um, memory isn't protected. Well, if you're running on a CPU, you have your normal protection, but um, be a bit more careful with memory at times, because you can, for example, over, uh, there's no mem um, like balance checking or anything, so you could say overwrite memory being used by the operating system for managing your display, and well, what happens there after that, we won't know. Um, as a quick example, um, a naive matrix multiply, um, where you have um, your two input matrices A and B, and your um, 
and C is your output. Um, I and J are similar to the um, core identifiers that we had in the example I showed earlier. And um, this is the code to initialize it. But um, <laughs> for 90% of the programs you do, you can basically copy and paste this and just make changes as needed. Um, so you've got create A, B, and C, uh, copy data, build your program, set some arguments, and run. So while it's a lot of um, while there's a lot of boil boilerplate there, so isn't that the device stuff supposed to be accelerator rather than GPU at the top there? Yes, I should be accelerator or any. <laughs> Um, and for building, well, it would be nice if for a standard there was a nice way of, um, in essence, you're, you compile your program um, using something similar to that, but Depending on the specific implementation, it might be capital O, lowercase o, capital CL, lowercase CL. Maybe not the pen. Um, if you're using a Mac, that's what you use. And in the case of for Epiphany, um, that's what you use. For there's, a, there's also lib Epiphany that you can get to, to get access to. I was just talking about, this is more of a generic, okay, but yes. Nice. 